Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at why is it that you can't move on from your special person, your connecting energy. Okay, so what's got you stuck on them? Why can't you just easily, I guess, disconnect here? There is going to be a part two to this reading. So part one is going to explore why you can't move on from them, what's making it really hard for you to do so. And part two is going to explore whether or not there will be a chance or an opportunity for the two of you to reconnect, um, perhaps repair and revisit things. Part two is going to be made available via the extension link below. So you will, in order to access it, you will have to make an online purchase, but that link is just listed below the description video. Um, sorry, listed below in the description box, just below the video. Uh, for those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to also email me. And again, that information is going to be listed below the video in the description box. All right, guys, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get um, started here. So just a reminder, this video, this reading here is intended for all water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching. Okay, so why can't you move on from them? out in reverse right we all saw that so ace of pentacles Okay, so what's going on here? So the Ace of Pentacles is the only card that's come out in reverse for you. So what is it that's holding you back, guys? I feel like it's something to do with the timing. Either the timing may not feel right to you, or you still are holding on to this person, you're holding on to their energy, and potentially holding on to maybe what could have been as well. Like, for instance, you may have had... Um, you may have had visions, like long-term visions. You may have had expectations that you've built up for this connection. And those haven't yet been realized. Those haven't yet been ma manifested. And as a result, a part of you is not only holding on to your person and their energy, but you're also holding on to those expectations, those visions here that unfortunately have never seemed to really manifest. So although the universe, I feel like, is... The universe is kind of, not that it's wanting for you to move on, but I feel like there are certain signs here, which, certain signs which probably are telling you that it's best for you to move on from this person, at least this point in time. But there's something here intuitively that is telling you deep down inside that you're not ready, um, or that you may still have you know, feelings for this person, and you may still have expectations here that you want to be fulfilled. So the Ace of Pentacles in reverse tells me that you're holding on to a sort of expectation or a vision that you had built up in your mind. And it's sort of like a fantasy narrative, I guess, especially with the presence of the Page of Cups. Um, you're holding on to the illusion of what could have been that, fant that fantasy narrative that you, you know, um, indulge in. I feel like there is still emotions. I feel like you're invested. I don't know that this person is as invested in you as you are. Um, I'm also seeing they're coming across as a bit of an alpha energy here. 
and maybe they're the ones that seem to have more control over the connection and the direction in which this is going here and you're the one that's maybe a little bit more on the submissive um, end of the spectrum here something okay especially with the presence of the high priestess something tells you that it may it's probably not a good idea to keep pursuing this person okay and this person is coming across as a bit of a fluctuating presence someone who's in and out of your life they are sending you mixed signals as well so one day they make it seem like they're really interested in you really interested to get to know you or to go back and revisit things so they clearly express an attraction for you perhaps the two of you have had um, you know, you've had, you've been physically intimate in the past or you've had a bit of like a casual arrangement type of situation. So look, the attraction, the sexual energy is definitely there. It's palpable. So, you know, that's that. But intuitively, I feel like a part of you knows that maybe this person is not really good for you or maybe this person can't really give you what you need, which are those expectations and intentions that you have for the connection. So your intuition says, like your heart says one thing, your head says another. You are a water energy here, guys. Um, you are ruled by the suit of cups, which is the emotional realm out of the tarot deck. So I can understand the emotional confusion that you're feeling. But I feel like for you, it's that whole notion of missed chance or a missed opportunity that fantasy narrative of what could have been and the longer you hold on to that guys the harder it's going to make you to move on from this person so i feel like that's what's really making it difficult okay and it's just that you're very hopeful still a part of you is very hopeful and a part of you i can see is invested even if your person isn't necessarily displaying that amount of interest be careful what you tell yourself, okay? Be careful the narrative that you tell yourself or the narrative that you choose to believe in because I do see that there's this sense of missed chance, lost opportunities, lost um, possibilities, feelings that you might have had for this person and you may still have for this person as well. I feel like, and that's what's, as I've mentioned, that's what's really keeping you holding on and that's what's really um, making it very difficult for you to move from this person they are coming across as a bit of a player type of energy and I feel like with this person like they know that you're very attracted to them they understand that um, they know that you're emotionally invested they know that you're interested and I feel like they know that they have you know they, they sort of dictate the direction in which this connection is traveling along so they understand that but be careful because i feel like this person is someone who is toying with you okay so if they understand all of that despite understanding that why is it that they continue to be this in and out presence why is it that they continue to send you know to sort of string you along or send mixed messages it's not fair to you here it's not okay and you have to understand, your life is defined by opportunities, even the ones that you have missed. So if this person does feel like a missed chance or a missed opportunity, and as I've mentioned, you're very big on intuition, right? So those intuitive nudges, those gut instincts that you get, they never lie, okay? They will never do you wrong as well. So if they feel like a missed chance or a missed opportunity here, is it because it's for a reason? Perhaps the fantasy that you've built up in your head and the expectations um, that you had for this connection and as grand and as wonderful as they seem to be in the, you know, in the realm of imagination, but perhaps they were just that. Perhaps they were fantasy because your person is emotionally reserved. They're guarded here. I can also see that there is an imbalance in your energies. The two of you aren't vibrationally aligned, at least not at this point in time, okay? You guys aren't on that same vibrational frequency, which is why this connection and this situation isn't necessarily manifesting in the way that you want. Yes, there's a lot of, you know, uh, wants here sprouting ones which tells us that there's a lot of attraction a lot of passion um a lot, you know very strong sexual energy notice the ones they do you know it does give off this valley kind of energy so look the sexual energy is there but does it feel like the connection itself is just primarily based on physical attraction and it's not because 
you're not wanting to get to know this person. It's because your person is guarded. It's because your person isn't giving you an opportunity to get to know them. Um, perhaps it's because the two of you were robbed of, robbed of the opportunity to get to know one another. Perhaps this is someone who has ghosted you. Perhaps this is someone, as mentioned earlier, is that fluctuating presence, you know, coming in and out of your life. And, you know, they're sort of, they're giving you a glimpse of what life could be like with them but then they quickly take her back from you i don't know that this person is ready for the very things that you're ready for to be honest with you and because you are coming up as a page of cups in this instance there's a very novelesque kind of energy to the page of cups as i always say so make sure that the expectations that you have for this person and for this connection are realistic okay be careful that and be truthful with yourself because at the end of the day if you lie you're only lying to yourself make sure that you're not idolizing this person okay because what happens is when we have a tendency to idolize someone or a situation we put them up on a pedestal and we actually make them out to be a lot better than they actually are so you know let's take them down a notch let's take them down from this pedestal make sure you're looking at that person and the situation for what it is or for it for what it was rather than what it could be okay because again i feel like the the thing that's really making you hold on to this person and the thing that's really making it hard for you to move on is you know, this missed chance, this missed opportunity, this fantasy narrative of what could have been, these grand expectations that you've had in your head and the fact that you were robbed of the opportunity or the fact that they've never really given you that opportunity to get to know them. And for you, it's this fantasy, you know, you're holding on to a fantasy version of them. You're holding on to a fantasy narrative. And that's inviting, but the reality tells a different story, guys. The reality tells us that this person is playing with your feelings they're potentially playing head games with you okay this is someone who is a very flighty presence someone who's in and out of your life someone who absolutely loves the attention that you give them and it, it does serve them as a bit of an ego boost okay and this is someone who gives me the impression that they want what they want with you is something along the lines of a relationship but minus the commitment. So with that, the, you know, the convenience of a relationship and all the benefits that it comes with, except for the whole commitment part, okay? Hence why they keep coming back in and out of your life. So, and the other thing is notice. If you take a moment and pause, notice how it's, this person reaches out or they make an appearance in your life when it's convenient for them. Not when it suits you or when you need them, but when it's convenient for them, when it's on their terms. So, that in itself is speaking volumes. Alrighty guys, and in part two, we're going to explore what exactly will happen with this connection. So will you hear from them? Um, you know, will there be an opportunity for you later down the track to maybe reignite the flames of this connection? Um, and will things be better in the future? So once again, part two will be made by the extension link below. Hopefully there'll be no glitches this time around. Um, and for those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to email me. Again, that email is made uh, available in the description box below. Otherwise, guys, thanks for your time and your attention. Please show your support by subscribing, liking, commenting. Bye for now.